starting at last, Admiral. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with him. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes, Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. We can talk to has increased. The Lord Regan. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work for you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. No! This cannot happen now the tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. Oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. Plug it in. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The Assassin's Mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold still, the fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Send the lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Sleep well. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead, her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this I have chosen you, and drawn you into the void. I am the Outsider, 
and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that we call magic, and now these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me. Days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. This place is the end of all things, and the beginning. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest.
Depths below, Hound kills the Hound, and money changes hands. Attention Dunwall citizens, do not attempt to house or care for a friend or family member who shows signs of blood on their face and chest area. The only way to help them is to bring them to the city watch. They will be taken to the flooded district for treatment. Should I clear space for Samuel then? If you like, but he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore, or that's what he says. Says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh. That pile of wood out there? It's a hobble he built from an old rowboat. Where does Admiral Hadlock find these people, I wonder? Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business, but sometimes good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. One of us. And if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the house. Does part of the soul live in the heart? If the heart keeps beating, does that mean that the spirit is never released into oblivion? I can keep a heart beating forever. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle... Jeff Kernow still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the Overseer's Nest? I'd recommend going with the best gear you can get together. Ready to go? Just give the signal.
rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And then there are the real odd birds living on the fringes, like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. You just take your pick. Inspected them myself. Oh, he ain't moving no more. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Report all deceased family members to the local dead count. Unreported deaths are a punishable offense. Attention, Dunwall citizens. This is a special announcement from our honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been Garbage. extended through the oh. month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition, in this continuing crisis, the overseers of the Abbey of the Everyman remain in Garbage. service to the state oh. and are in power. They force order whenever, wherever necessary. I think the little birdies are sad today. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family, but an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder?
I think the little birdies are sad today. Dear? Is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them. And they're not very polite ones, either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Granny, 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 come out with me instead. Let us in, Granny. I bet she can't even hear us. She's blind, not deaf. We're here to do your washing. She's not stupid either. Have it your way. We're here to take your money, Granny. Come on, let's get this guy. You fight for it. Mm, if I was a birdie, I'd want to eat that. Yes! Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. Oh no. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely wound carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard, or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. But they're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. Attention, Dunwall citizens. John Clavering Boulevard has been designated a restricted travel area. Any citizens are liable to search or imprisonment at the discretion of the city watch.
business over that seven stricture bullshit. Don't be stupid. I've been watching how they operate. For discipline. <laughs> Nasty person. Any light at all? Did you touch the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor said. Vital essences? Does that mean guts? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can't we just- No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. I hear his new elixir is twice as good against the plague. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? It is, isn't it? I hope not. Since I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. I told her to keep the children inside. <coughs> I told her. Huh? What the fuck? To work! I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats of all...
what? It was nothing after all. Still crying about that dice game? 